Hey, it's Mr. Smiley here from Terps Win B1G with another Jibolo video. In this one, I wanted to show uh, what to do when you're going up against a ring base like this with your mass bowler with back end loon comp, and you have a uh, a ring base where the funneling might be a little bit difficult because the the ring is a little bit deeper. And uh, for these kinds of bases, uh, I've been having some success with just using a queen walk in one of the rages to start out with to create a nice big wide open funnel. So I wanted to show a couple of videos here just to, to give folks an idea of how you can use the same comp and just change it up a little bit uh, to make it more base dependent. Uh, you know, if this were a war attack, maybe you would choose a different comp, but uh, you know, we this gives it another option. Uh, you know, we, we see bases like this in war also. They're, they're pretty tough, especially when, you, uh, when you're when you a Town Hall 10 and you have to attack it up. Uh, so here you can take care of the outside Burger King with a poison, let your queen go to work there. And then as she starts taking a lot of fire, starts getting down a lot, use one of the rages there to try to uh, keep her alive. It uh, lets her do some more damage to create an even wider funnel. You know that she's going to catch one of those expos. Then drop the, the golem on the other side of the funnel with maybe uh, five or six of the bowlers and then drop the giants and the rest of the bowlers up the middle and try to pop a jump to get everything into the core. Uh, so it's just a, the same composition, a little bit of an easier way to funnel the, the troops in. And as you can see there, they, they get into that core, rage them up, and they just kind of destroy the core. Queen is still walking around with the healers. Uh, ideally, I mean, it would be great if you could get the healers to, to follow the bowlers, but that's not going to happen every time. And then you just kind of drop the loons strategically, try to place them as far away from the air defenses as you can. Hope that the bowlers take out the middle air defense before the loons get shot down. Uh, but they're still doing a, a pretty good job of, um, you know, taking out a bunch of defenses to help with the cleanup, cleanup process. And as you can see there, there's one kind of helping the uh, helping the archer queen go around. And uh, let's just fast forward to the rest of this cleanup. So uh, there you can see the three star there. And uh, there's another one that I did right after this. Uh, let's go ahead and show that one on a kind of a similar ring based design. Uh, a lot of times these can be a lot trickier than the anti three star bases. Whoops. Let's go ahead and yeah, this one. So this one it is a ninety two percent. If I had saved one of my cleanup minions instead of wasting it at the at the start here trying to steal my steer my queen walk around, it probably would have been a three star. But here you can see I'm a little bit concerned about the the ring nature of this. Uh, so I want to clear a nice big wide funnel with the rage and the archer queen. And uh, let's see, I think I, yeah, there I waste the waste the minion that I wish I could have had back, uh, trying to steer her around a little bit. Take out that air defense. You can see a nice big wide open space here, and then I'm going to drop the golem and the wall breakers there on the other side, and uh, clear the funnel, and then pop a jump and have my bowler pack in the middle and go right into the base. Uh, you can see, use the tome, use the rage, some poisons to take care of the, take care of the clan castle. They're just gonna go right into the middle of this base. And it is on single, but I, I think I probably would have had the same effect on, on multi. And as you can see there, taking out some of those perimeter archer uh, air defenses and as the air defenses go down, you just release the loons kind of two at a time. They float around there. Uh, queen still up, gutting the middle of this base. Healers putting in work. There you can see the, the loons, half the loons are going to get shot down. But, you know, you don't need to have all the loons survive. If you can clear out an entire side like I did here with four loons, then you're still getting a ton of value out of that. And then as you can see here, I've cleared about 9 o'clock to, to 12 o'clock and then start sending the loons in at the other side. Unfortunately, since I used one of my two cleanup minions already, one of them is going to town over here on this side, uh, but the other one I don't really have anything to, to clear that up. 
And uh, so the my pack in the middle does take out that archer de uh, air defense. And uh, the loon helping with the cleanup process, but I have a huge amount of space to clean up and not really as many troops as I needed. Uh, so just keep in mind, you know, maybe maybe I should start carrying four cleanup minions instead of two, but I think for the most part it works out pretty well. Uh, so hope you like a couple of those those attacks. Uh, as you start playing around with it, feel free to leave me some comments or, or feedback. Uh, anything else that you, you might want to see. I'm going to try to do some more minor stuff in the next couple days now that I have uh, multiple barracks that can, can make miners. Um, so anyway, until next time, let's go Terps!